Alrighty. Hi. Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. And today I'm going to make a little fabric basket or box. And what I'm making it for, I want to do a really small one so it can sit by my sewing machine and I can put little bitty pieces of uh, fabric and just little trim cut pieces so that I can use that later on different snippets and all kinds of different projects. So um, I cut myself some eight by eight pieces here and I'm getting them all pressed. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is, um, let me back out a little bit, I think it's, yeah, there we go. Okay, for these eight by eight pieces, we're gonna, this I'm gonna use for the outside, and these pokey dots is what I'm gonna use on the inside. Seems like I have this too light, I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out. Okay, so we're gonna take those two out. We want two, and we wanna put the right sides together. Okay, this one's not quite as easy to tell, but we're gonna put all the right sides together. I'm gonna use some of these clips. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to sew this around three sides. We're going to do both sides and the bottom, and we'll leave the top open at this time. Oh, you know what I need to do before I do anything else? I've got to iron on my, um, my fusion stuff to make sure that it really holds it nice and stiff, because I did make one without it and it really is not strong enough. So let me get my stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and cut these only uh, seven inches because uh, I wanted to leave myself room to sew. However, look how bright red that is. I think that's gonna show through, but I'll maybe I can white it out. <laughs> okay, so there's a bumpy side and a slippery side. You wanna, sew, you wanna iron the bumpy side down on the back side. So this is a back side here. So we'll iron on. Oh, we'll iron on the back side right here. Do it pretty even in the middle. Yeah, because I tried, to, this one says ultra hold. Um, I did it without any of this on it, and it's pretty limp. So I actually had to put like cardboard inside of the bigger one. Okay. And then we'll put the other one on. Yes. Oh gosh, it shows clear through. So I'll make that the bottom. <laughs> At least I don't. I have that choice with this particular. Um, fabric, I can go either way, up, down, it doesn't matter because they're pokey dots. Okay, here we go. So we're going to get this nice and sealed to the fabric. This little edge is trying to come up. So. I'm not putting steam in there. Um, I'm not really sure if you're supposed to use steam or not. I didn't really read the package. What I bought this for is I was making um, shopping bags and I made a bunch of them. But I was using like a heavier fabric and I really didn't need these, but I was gonna line it with some um, thinner fabric that was pretty. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, all right then, what I'm gonna do is take these, we're gonna go back, over, we're gonna go over to the machine here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that's the bottom. We're gonna sew that. I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam all the way around. Okay. And 
you can use pins, you can use clips, you don't have to use anything if you want to just hold it. Okay, so I'm going to start on the bottom so I make sure, well, let me start on the side. We will know. And I'm just using a straight stitch. And I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. See, I think you can see pretty good. Let me do a... Okay. Alrighty, then here we go. I'm going to put it on one. Okay. go down the bottom. do the exact same thing with uh, with the top it's so bright I can't see uh, I'm gonna put the right sides together and we're gonna sew three sides the bottom and the two sides and leave the top open okay so here we go we're gonna go back over here to the machine Takes me a minute to figure out where I am. I think you're close enough on there. If that's going to be the top, I'm going to kind of. bottom. Oh, a little bit too short. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Come back up the side, quarter of an inch. Okay, so now because I made these um, eight inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end up making the two uh, little places that are boxy at the bottom. So what you want to do is measure up, I think on this one, yeah, you want to put your hand inside and you want to make this seam. 
go down the center. See there? And then you're going to... That's okay. Once you get it like that, you're going to come up two inches from the corner and you're going to come up two inches from the corner. I'm thinking two inches is good for this small of a box or basket, fabric, whatever it is, a box or a basket. And then we're going to sew on that line. Then we're going to go on this side and take it just like we did the other one, pull it apart. You want to make sure it's in the center and you want your seam to either go one side or the other or down the center just get it out of your way where it's uh, flatter okay we're going to do the same thing we're going to mark up two inches and over here we're going to mark up two inches Then we're going to go straight across. And we're going to sew across here. So I'm going to put you back to the sewing machine. Okay. And we're going to go right straight down that line. I'm going to back stitch it. Okay. And All right. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors Ooh, which I I love these scissors they're my favorites and you're gonna where you cut it you're gonna, gonna release these because they're spring-loaded you're gonna go about half an inch or so and you're gonna cut the bulk off because you have a seam going right there and you're gonna turn it over we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna sew on this line same thing we're going to go about a half an inch and we're going to cut off the bulk of it because we don't need it all right so then as you can see it makes you poke these little corners out it makes a, a nice little box see that it sits down on see back it out just a little bit see it makes a nice little square bottom that uh, it can sit on. See? So now we're going to do the same exact thing to the lining. We're going to go in and we're going to take one side, ooh, bulky that way, and we're going to, I'm going to just try to, uh, there we go. And we're going to take, make sure it's in the middle. There we go. And we're going to mark it. I'll put it this way. There's the two. And here's my disappearing ink <laughs> pen that I'm using. It is Fine Point Disappearing Ink. And then I'm going to go put the two in the corner, and I'm going to do two. 
And I'm going to draw across and make me a line. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to squeeze it up and I'm going to smooth out the seam a little bit and do the finger press. <laughs> okay, then we're going to do, whoa, I lost my one and two. Okay, so we're going to go two inches and two inches. Then we're going to draw straight across, get our line. It doesn't write as good on this stuff, but I can see it anyhow. Okay, so we're going to go to the machine here and do the same thing. Here we go. Okay. And we're going to go across here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if the smartest thing is to put this on the outside fabric, or we'll see. We'll see how it does when we get it finished. How's that? So I'm going to go ahead and sew this side as well. So we're going to snip this, snip this, snip these off the top. Well, I don't really need to, right? Okay, so let me put it back down. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut this off about a half an inch from the seam. And the same over here. I'm going to cut this about a half an inch from the seam. Okay. And then we're going to turn this out and see what we think. Now you're supposed to put them face to face, right sides together. Now you've got to leave yourself some room to turn this back inside out. So you have your right sides together on the inside. You see that? Right side and right side. And they have to be together. So now we're going to do us a little stitch, a quarter inch stitch all the way around. And, hmm, looks a little bit off there. Let me straighten that up. Okay, there we go. So then we're going to go through and we're going to do a um, quarter inch seam all the way, not all the way around. We've got to leave us about, I don't know, a three inch deal to, so we can turn it back side out. So I'm only going to come a little ways on each side. Okay, here we go to the sewing machine. And let me zoom in. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to this in here. We're going to start. What did you decide? It didn't matter. We'll start right here. And I'm just using a straight stitch. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. Though. 
when I made the other one, I did not have this um, iron-on uh, stuff, and it was a lot more flimsy to sew as well. Even though it was too flimsy to, to work with, it was a lot easier to work with, that's for sure. Okay. Now, did I, where do they start? Right. I started right there. So I've got to leave myself like about three inches. So I'm going to stop right there and come on around and do the corner. And then we're going to turn it inside out. And not to worry, no matter, <clears throat> once we turn it inside out, okay, we left ourselves using that little hole that we left, where you need to use probably at least three inches, because this is a little bulky. Okay. Put this inside out. Oh. Oh, and then we'll put the lining like this, so that it's the right side of the lining showing. We're going to tuck it in there really good. They have lighter weight <clears throat> of this stuff. This is heavy, and the reason I had it is because, like I said, I was going to make some sewing, I mean some shopping bags, and I knew they needed to be sturdy for canned goods and heavy vegetables and what have you. And so, you have your really pretty lining inside. Oh, do it this way. Your pretty lining inside there. And we're gonna make sure and poke out all the corners. Get the corners nice and poked out. From the lining in to the out outer edge one. Okay. Then we're going to go around and we're going to tuck in the place we didn't sew on both sides. And we're going to make a seam. You know, if I had that to do over again, I'd probably do a half an inch seam at the top. But we're, we'll fold this in. Let me uh, iron it real quick here. Yeah, that makes it easier. And then I'll fold this uh, outside in a little bit as well. There we go, that'll make it way easier. So now we have to go, uh, we're gonna go clear around the top again. Okay, we're gonna take this part that's open that I folded down, we're gonna sew that, but I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the way around the whole thing, the piece there that we gotta sew, and we're just gonna keep going all the way around. Okay. And I probably, for sure, should only do a, a half an, or I mean a fourth of an inch because I got to make sure and hit the fabric on both sides and uh, in fact maybe I'll do a little bit less this time around. almost to the beginning. Okay, so now 
that I've got it done this far. What I think I'd like to do, cut these strings. Um, what I think I'd like to do, because I want this to be small enough that it's not bugging me on this table. So I want to fold the top down. all the way around, but I want to put, uh, I want to put some lace across here. Okay, so, um, let me grab some lace, and then we're going to sew uh, lace around there, and that way, when I'm sewing and I have little scraps, like, whatever, like so, I can throw them in there and then later I can use those on uh, different things that I want to do and I can get it out of the way. You also can uh, use, use it to cover different containers like I have this container for my scissors and if I made it a little bit taller, you can hide a container, you know, you put your scissors in and make a big bow on the side or something or the lace, whatever. But I want to use it for, uh, I want to use it to make, to, for my little tiny scraps that I can use. And then I have the bigger one that I can transfer it to, but this is the one I want on my desk, on my sewing machine area. So I'm going to grab some lace. Um, This looks like it might be a little bit long for such a little basket. Let me see. I have a bunch of this. I bought a bunch of this when it was on sale. If I sew it up under here, oh, that won't be bad. Okay, so let me open it back up and we'll sew it like this. So then when it's folded down, it'll look like that. So, we can use, you. well, clips are a little bit too big, so let me do a pin for now. If we do a pin, and I'm putting it down about a fourth of an inch, I don't know, maybe almost a half. Yeah, see, that'll be good. Okay. And I can probably do it as I go. So, um, here we go, I'm going to, and I just have this on, uh, just the middle stitch and I have it on about two and a half, uh, for the seam. Okay. And hopefully you can see it pretty good. And there's a seam on the back of this, um, on this thread, and that's why I'm following the seam. <laughs> this is pretty little. It sounds like a diaper. <laughs> all the way around too, you don't have to. Just hold it, it seems to be easier for me.
Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. What did I do? Okay. So we're going to snip the thread. And I'm going to snip off the extra lace. Now we're going to fold it down. Now, if you don't like the way it looks, like if you felt like, well, I didn't do a very close, a very straight seam, and I don't like the way it looks or whatever, you can put a pretty little trim along there as well. Ribbon or just a fun trim or whatever. But I think it's going to be perfect for what I'm using. I mean, if I was going to sell it, I would really... Uh, work at it to make it perfect. But anyhow, so there you have the little cutesy little uh, basket to put my little uh, trims in or buttons or clips or anything you want. You can make it bigger or smaller. This one was 8 inch by 8 inch blocks, you know, and then it was, uh, I did just 2 inches to make went up two inches and up two inches and you could you could make them any size you want. The bigger one, I'll show you the bigger one I made and it was 10 inches by 10 inches. It's 10 inches by 10 inches and I think I went three inches on those, yeah. And But you can see it's without any kind of, of the iron on fabric stiffener stuff it's pretty limp so I ended up cutting some um, cardboard and stuck in there but anyhow there there you have it it's um, they're pretty sweet and pretty easy and as you can see you can make them pretty fast and if you're not trying to show somebody you can just zip them through so anyhow there you have it so if you like this video, make sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so, so much. Um, I really appreciate you. I love that you can um, watch the channel. And it just makes me happy. And God bless you. And you have a happy day, okay? And I'll see all you good people later. Bye-bye.